if you were to take an overhead view of a dungeon right and you color in the places where the person has been the point is you want to bring a user to the edge of the area those okay. borders between where they have explored and where they haven't explored about 50 feet away there is an unexplored area if you select this you'll be guided there unexplored patches an area unexplored patch 17 meters to your 12 o'clock placing beacon at waypoint one of two two edge of unexplored patch reached waypoint one placing beacon at edge of unexplored patch reached edge of unexplored patch at your one o'clock Great. And once you reach that unknown, the guidance cuts off. Oh, so it's kind of like fast travel in a game. Exactly. I've already explored exactly. this part. Don't make me run across a field for 20 minutes. Cool. And it yep. takes you to the edge of where you've been, drops you off there and says, okay, mm -hmm. figure it out. Exactly. Exactly. That's what promotes that sense of discovery. What we're trying to do is, okay, we don't need to confine the player anymore, right? If we can just open it up, you just take something like Tears of the Kingdom and put a player with Surveyor in it. Can they just explore? You think you could put this onto a Zelda Breath of the Wild type game and people would be able to play it? Perhaps. I mean, there are obviously going to be some design decisions that need to be made. But in my defense presentation, I literally use Tears of the Kingdom as an example.